to Chinatown, above the gate, there are four big Chinese characters. Tian Xia Wei Gong. It means the world is for everyone. <laughs> While we were walking in Chinatown, looking for a good restaurant, we found this cool looking mural on the wall. What do you eat? I can't eat. Every day. <laughs> now time to go to restaurant for noodle time. After lunch, we walked around downtown Boston. Behind me is the Boston Tea Party Museum. And over there, they're throwing tea overboard. And look! In 1773, American colonists in Boston threw British tea into the harbor to protest taxation without representation. Now we're going on the Freedom Trail. Our first stop on the Freedom Trail is the USS Constitution. We are the USS Constitution. The reason it's so famous because it's the all this worship afloat. And did you know the people that run it are not park people? They are actual sailors. Let's go take a look. There's a hole on the top of the gun right here. Right. So that's sealed off. Right. So that is preventing the gun from being able to fire. So were these original actual cannons? Or are they no, so replicas? All, all the guns that you see on board right now were brought on board in 1927. So they've been on board almost 100 years. Okay. But they were, they're were they made as replicas, not as actual fighting cannon. Well, the only thing that makes them a replica is that this is sealed off. Other than that, they're 100% correct. And would be functional if that opened and we had black powder. You could open that with like a power drill. Problem. Right. And and is there an engine on the ship or is no. that 100% original sailing? It's all sailing? sail. How many ships did this uh, ship sink? Uh, I don't know how much she sunk, but the goal back then was not to sink a ship. The goal was to capture it, right? Because we only had 60 ships and the Royal Navy had 600. So they outnumbered us 10 to 1. So you could capture their ship and use it as your own, that was preferred. How many people crewed the ship uh, back then? 450 to 500, about 40 to 80 U.S. Marines. We're on the sleeping deck. About 500 sailors slept here. And here we have an officer's quarters. So instead of having to bunk with all the other people, they get their own room and their own extra fancy hammock. These windows or portholes show how thick the walls of the USS Constitution are. This is why it's called Old Ironsides because in a battle with the British ship, the British cannonballs would just bounce off the side of the ship. So these are the cannonballs and various things that they would shoot out of the cannons. Here's a cannonball. It's quite heavy. And it's just a solid piece of metal. And there's some smaller cannonballs and bigger cannonballs. Now they'd also shoot some other things such as this. It's called grape shot. So it's a bag and it's filled with little balls about this big. And it's used for shooting at people. And here, you have what's called bar shot. So they would stick this in the cannon and shoot it out. And the idea with this is it would fly and destroy the other ship's sails. And once the other ship's sails are destroyed, then they're, they're stuck. stuck. They can't move. Now, past grape shot, you develop canister shot. 
So this is full of little BBs, little piece of ball, ball bearings like this. And then you would shoot this at people as well. And then they also have double-headed shot and star shot. And this is a match stick. So they would use this stick to poke a hole into the bags of gunpowder so that they would explode when you lit them up. So for 500 people, you'd have a lot of those barrels. Mm -hmm. One gallon for each one. Yeah, we'd have a... You'd have to carry a lot of barrels to sail to Europe. Yeah, up and down, up and down. Yeah, we'd have about 3,000 barrels of fresh water on board. For so we're aboard the USS Constitution, and on the ship, there are no bathrooms. So when sailors needed to go to the bathroom, what they would do is they would come to the front of the ship here, or the head of the ship, and they stick their butts right out the gun port, and that's where they would go to the bathroom. And this is very common for sailing ships back then, and that's why even today, there are no bathrooms on any ship. They're all called heads. So that's where the name for a bathroom on a ship is, comes from. Bye-bye, USS Constitution. My daddy is finding our way to Bunker Hill. Going along the trail is easy. Just follow the red line on the floor. Okay, Olivia, you see that house over there? That really skinny house? That is known as the skinny house. But another name for the skinny house is the spite house. You see the sign there says the spite house? The story goes that this piece of land, including this house and this big house, used to belong to one family. And the father, when he died, left this land to his two sons. One of the brothers went off in the military and went away to join the military. The other brother stayed here in Boston. And he decided to build a big fancy house. And he left that tiny little piece of land to his brother. Saying, hey, I shared. You got your land, I got my land. Now, before, there were these houses were not there. So this house, the windows on the side, had a great view of the water and the harbor over there. Well, when the brother in the military came back to Boston, he looked at this and said, what, you only left me that tiny little piece of land? He said, well, fine, I'm gonna get my revenge. And he built this one, two, three, four story house here to block his brother's view of the water. <laughs> and that's why they call it the Spite House. Means revenge? Yes, he has revenge on his brother for leaving him just a tiny little piece of land to fight, building this skinny little house to block his view. The Old North Church is where the lanterns were lit for Paul Revere. The trail led us through Little Italy. Now we are just at the Paul 
Revere statue and we follow the freedom trail to his house. And you see, it was built 200 years ago. I'm riding on a donkey and it represents the Democrat quite silly right and then there's elephants that represent Republicans which there is no elephant here. We had walked all day, and it was getting dark by the time we reached the end of the Freedom Trail at Boston Commons. It's time for dinner. We're walking to the restaurant. Now at the Union Oyster House, established in 1826, and it's the oldest restaurant in America. Can't you believe that? And I don't really like oysters, and we're having dinner here. I don't have good feelings. I guess you, if you like oysters, I guess good for you. <laughs> well, let's go in. The food was pretty good, but of course I did not eat the oysters. My parents liked the oysters though. After dinner, we walked back home. We passed by many street musicians and a colorful lighted fountain. Boston is a very walkable and fun city. If I can do it, you can too. When you're tired, just take ice cream break. It's a rainy day here in Boston, so we've decided to leave Boston and go up and look at the leaves. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. Bye!